Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous over the top beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization and uh, lucky guys, I thought that uh, you thought that you were not going to have to listen to another ecological meltdown roundup rant before I head off to Belize in Mexico. But lucky you and lucky me and lucky Sancho Banza, I see that my uh, Manga Bay email has arrived here late on Thursday afternoon, January 26, 2023. So we're going to pretend like it is Friday morning, January 27th. 2023 and this will be the last ecological meltdown roundup rant that I get to until March. So I hope this holds you as we check in mangabay.com with Rhett Butler and the boys and girls to hear uh, how the planet is full scale collapsing here. In late January, before I head off, and it is a full cavalcade of collapse, and uh, I'm not going to, I'll probably have time to get to about half of these stories. Let's start out in Papua New Guinea, where we see logging threats loom over tree kangaroo refuge in New Guinea. Logging is threatening the Torricelli Mountains, a biodiversity-rich forested range in Papua New Guinea known for its tree kangaroos and other threatened species of birds and mammals. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, imagine that. Satellite imagery shows the lost the loss of forest and an increase in road building over the last two years. Residents say that representatives of logging companies have been trying to secure permission to log the region's forests as if they need this, uh, if, as if they need permission. You can kiss goodbye the tree kangaroos. Okay, what is going on with botanists here in early 2023? 20, botanists are disappearing at a critical time. I don't know if botanists are being murdered or what. <clears throat> The expansive field of botany could be facing a dearth of skilled experts due to a growing lack of awareness of plants, interest in studying plants, and fewer educational opportunities to do so. Huh. Humans depend upon plants for basic survival needs such as food, oxygen, and daily household products, but fewer students are receiving enough instruction to enable them to do much beyond basic identification. Uh, and I can't imagine that any people, I admit guys, I can't identify half of the plants on my own property in New York. Okay, we're going to skip over any, uh, any hopium because there is no hopium. Okay, let's get to officially the news. Illegal road found on Yanomami land accelerates destruction. Yes. <clears throat> In December, Greenpeace and the Socio-Environmental Institute discovered a 93-mile-long illegal road as well as four excavators in the Yanomami territory in Brazil's northern Amazon. Uh, while small-scale Illegal miners have been active in the area for 50 years. Both the road 
and the use of heavy machinery can make mining activities 10 to 15 times more destructive. Currently about 20,000 illegal miners operate across the Yanomami's territory. But don't worry, newly elected President Lula is on the case. Speaking of major earth moving equipment, we have uh, some planet nibbling going on as a backgra background to this rant. Okay, uh, Manga Bay has been having pretty much every week we check in with the Mennonites down there, the planet eating Mennonites. Indigenous communities in Latin America decry the Mennonites' expanding land occupation. This is looking at this investigation, looking at five Mennonite colonies that uh, have been reported clearing forests by indigenous communities and locals in Bolivia, Colombia, Mexico, Paraguay, and Peru. Many of these Mennonites are being investigated by prosecutors and environmental authorities. Uh, you know, I actually, guys, just thought that they were overhyping this. But, uh, you know, just do a YouTube check on, the, uh, on these damn Mennonites. Anyway, anyway, uh, what is going on with Bangladesh's river dolphins? I did not realize that there were any river dolphins still surviving in Bangladesh, and obviously there won't be for much longer. Banned, but still abundant. Gill nets pose the main threat to Bangladesh's river dolphins. <clears throat> Bangladesh is still home to around 2,000 Ganga river dolphins and 6,000 Irrawaddy dolphins found mostly in the Sundarbans, the world's largest mangrove forest. Both species considered threatened run a high risk of entanglements in gill nets used by local fishermen. Gill nets are banned in Bangladesh, but still remain popular among the local fishermen. Yep, yep, yep. You can kiss goodbye the river dolphins. Here we go for the daily, the weekly. How do we make, how do we restore large carnivore populations? How about make people wealthier? Yep, yep, yep. Did you realize that encouraging sustainable social and economic development, encouraging sustainable Economic development is the best way to prevent the extinction of carnivores such as lynx, bears, and lions. Yes. Anyway, enough of that uh, unadulterated horse shit. Okay. Let's look at our own country for a while. U.S. refuses calls for immediate protection of North Atlantic right whales. The U.S. government has rejected requests to implement emergency measures to protect critically endangered North Atlantic right whales. 
from vessel collisions during the species calving season between November and takes place between November and April. Some protections for right whales are already in place, but experts say urgent modifications are needed to protect pregnant females, lactating mothers, and calves. There are now only about 340 individual North Atlantic right whales left in the world, and birth rates are low. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Skip over the hoth over the hopium back to the Yanomami Yanomami health disaster prompts outrage as Lula vows to tackle the crisis. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, okay. What is going on with the fishing cats? Plastic works its way up the food chain to hit fishing cats. Oh, good Lord. Uh, what else is new? Uh, I think we already mentioned this story. Even in recovery, previously logged tropical forests are carbon sources, not carbon sinks. Logging of tropical forests may result in more carbon being released into the atmosphere than previously thought, according to new research. I think we've already talked about that. Uh, okay, what is going on with Russian wood pellets? Well, the EU banned Russian wood pellet imports, so South Korea took them all. Yes. Uh, boy, I think it's time for the EU to ban the import of American wood pellets. But of course, if the EU bans the import of wood pellets from the good old U.S. of A. We'll just send all of those wood pellets over to South Korea or Japan or wherever. Uh, good Lord. Okay, wow. Would you believe, guys, that there is a Chinese quarry in sub-Saharan Africa? Taking a toll? Yes, this is uh, in Cameroon. Vibrations from explosive blasting operations carried out at the Chinese company's Genie Cameroon LLC stone quarry have impacted homes located next to the site and are beginning to show cracks. Do you think so? Uh, Jesus. Anyway, imagine that a Chinese quarry in sub Saharan Africa. Oh, through the hopium. Uh, this one. Could you believe that a new law that a new lawsuit suggests suggests that Indonesian nickel miners lack environmental licenses? Hmm. Could you believe rumors are flying? I guess that Indonesia uh, has indicated that two 
nickel miners are suspected of polluting a river on the island of Sulawesi and they may not have all of their required permits. Uh, that's surely, that's got to be fake news. Uh, the Indonesian government is pushing a massive expansion of nickel mining and processing industries to feed the skyrocketing demand for electric vehicle batteries. Huh. But nickel mining has long been associated with pollution and community conflicts. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, more hopium. Here is more about vultures. I didn't realize that Egyptian vultures lived in Nepal and at the rate they're going they won't much longer. But you believe that Egyptian vulture populations have declined drastically across, across much of their range. Yep, 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 yep. Anyway, good lord. You thought you had heard it all about dwindling salmon as sea lice. I thought it said sea ice. No, not sea ice, as sea lice feast away on dwindling salmon. First Nations decide the fate of salmon farms. Increased sea, li sea lice infestations, which scientists say are caused by salmon farms, are threatening the already vulnerable wild Pacific salmon populations in western Canada, worrying conservationists and first Nations. Uh, Jesus. There is no end from sea lice to beekeeping. Uh, this goes on and on. Here is the latest case of rhino poaching jolts conservation community in Nepal. You know, this is those little, uh, you know, those one-horned rhinos who, who don't even, hardly even have a horn. Uh, good lord. Uh, poachers appear to have electrocuted a female rhino and her calf using a cable connected to a nearby temple's power supply. You, you know, guys, it never ends. Electrocuting mother and baby rhinos with a power line to a temple. Uh, okay. Here's more stories about murdered environmental activist. Oh. All right, we have new red flags being raised for Sri Lanka's birds. Sri Lanka has published its latest assessment of the conservation status of its birds showing a worrying increase in the number of species now considered threatened since the last assessment was published in 2012. Uh, so we now have 19 bird species 
making the critically endangered list, 48 making the endangered list, with 14 more making the vulnerable list. The list highlights uh, key threats to birds as loss of habitat due to climate change which could shrink the suitable range for mountain species by up to 90 percent. Uh, looks like we have a conflict between tigers and cattle in Bhutan. I did not even realize there were any tigers left in Bhutan. What is going on with frogs? EU demand for frog legs raises risk of local extinctions. The European Union is the world's largest consumer of frog legs from wild-caught species most of those imported from Indonesia. Good Lord. Uh, I thought southern rednecks were the biggest consumers of frog legs, but no. Alright. Uh, more murdered environmentalist murders of two Patoxo leaders prompt Ministry of Indigenous Peoples to launch crisis office. There's a 17 year old and a 25 year old uh, down there in Brazil were shot dead in Brazil's northeastern Bahia state. The crimes reportedly occurred when the two indigenous leaders were returning to a resettlement farm. Uh, anyway, maybe Lula can save the planet. What is going on in Venezuela? Venezuela's oil spill crisis reached new heights in 22. There were 86 oil spills and gas leaks in Venezuela last year. Uh, the spills are a result of aging infrastructure and a lack of regulation needed to maintain the country's massive oil industry. There's a story on invasive rats. Oh God, don't, there's more story. Another story about violence in Brazil's Amazon are crimes against humanity. Uh, anyway, guys, just another day in the life of MangaBay.com goes on and on, and I'm just going to wrap up this week's uh, ecological collapse right here, and uh, I guess you will just have to wonder how the planet is collapsing over the next five, six weeks, uh, you can go on mongabay.com and get this uh, cavalcade of catastrophe delivered into your own email box. Well, you still can. But anyway, guys, I am off to Belize in Mexico and uh, get out there and enjoy it while I still can and to burn some fossil fuels while I still can and uh, see you down the road. Bye guys.